Hey guys, in my what I got for Christmas video, I mentioned that two of my bosses got me a gift card for my weekend job. So I decided to spend it on Asian skincare and here is a small haul for you guys. Technically, this didn't come from, so I ordered everything from Yes Style and technically this was bought before that. I didn't buy these for me, they're actually for my friends Vicky and Ruby. Um, it's from Nature Inside and it's a uh, lotion that is in the shape of a Yakult that's so freaking cute, so adorable. I can't wait to give them these and I have to peel off the sticker on that later, but <laughs> it's not a big deal. I'm going to ask them um, if I can smell it. I was very tempted to buy one for myself, but I already have a lot of like body care, lotions, shower gels. I'm trying to get through so I don't mind when people gift them to me but I really can't justify now going out of my way to buy it, even if I really love the scent unless it is something truly really unique that I feel like I'm gonna miss out on if I don't get it so I look like a freaking crazy person because I have four of the Laneige sleeping masks um, so actually I bought two of these just the berry and the peach one for myself and then Vicky and Ruby also um, well first Vicky mentioned that she needed something for her lips I don't remember but I think they both mentioned wanting some type of new lip product so I decided to pick up two also for them um, because I really like the one that comes in a pot but I already talked about this how the pot drives me crazy so this is such a more effective Solution. And the reason I got two for myself is because I can either keep one in my work bag and then one in my backpack or like one on my nights. Well, at the top should really say my nightstand on five finisher. But in the future, I do see myself buying more of these in the other. So, so far, I like the berry one the best. Um, the peach one, it does. It took the berry one when I first started using it right away. I could smell it. I don't know if that's because I already know what it smells like in the pot. But the peach one, it took a couple of uses for like the scent really to be there. It is a pleasant scent. I don't think it's a horrible scent. I just prefer the scent of the berry one. They do have like pear and like cherry or something. I would try the other flavors um, once I finish the pot and go through these and let's see how many lip balms I start keeping all over the place. I also have like non Laneige sleeping mask lip balms that I do want to finish because I had bought them. Like one of them being a first aid beauty one which those are really expensive and for the price I don't think it's as good as these. I should do like a cost breakdown of like the pot versus these to see if they're similar or not. I'll see if I can like insert a card for it or something. The next thing I got was these, oh my god, I don't know how to say this brand. It Etude Etude uh, Bubble Tea Sleeping Pack. It is a mask that you use on your face. Okay, it says um, the bubble tea sleeping pack makes skin moisturized and elastic during the night with its compound of black tea gel and moisture capsule bubbles. This, I wanted, I did need a new mask because when I was younger, I used to do masks because they felt good, but I can't really say that I felt a difference in my skin. I don't know if it's just because, like, the product wasn't working or I just wasn't paying enough attention or because I was young, my problem was mostly, like, acne and oiliness. Um, but I did have, like, a month ago, I had a pimple that popped. By itself, I didn't pop in, but I try not to <laughs> pop my pimples, but it's hard to resist sometimes. But anyway, I used a sheet mask, and I don't think it was like particularly like a fancy one. Somebody gave it to me as a gift, so and I had it, so I was like, okay, since I had this pimple that popped, let me put, let me do a mask um, to help my skin. And I noticed that it did heal a lot faster because like right after I had another pimple that popped, and I didn't have a mask for that. And it did not heal as nicely. It wasn't as fast and it left like a darker spot. Whereas the one where I did use like a random Korean sheet mask, it healed really nice considering. So this looks, this is so cute. It looks, it, it looks like bubble tea. I love it. And there's like a little spoon that comes in here for you to apply the sleeping mask with. It was like, oh god, it was like, they packaged it so nicely so that everything would fit. Okay. The other thing that I got is this Cat's Wink Clear Pack in the color 
clear beige. So I honestly, I really don't like to buy Asian, um, not that I don't, I, the skincare is good. I don't like to buy their complexion products like foundation, BB cream, because they usually come in two colors and um, usually those two colors are too light and too cool for my skin tone. But I did see like this girl with it and it looks super cute. So I bought clear beige, which looks like it would be the darker color. And it comes, oh, it comes with a little poof. So I heard that like these pa these poofs are actually better because like it lets you press the product in, but there's like no good way of cleaning it. So once it gets dirty, do you just like, do you buy a new one? I don't know. I feel like I would still use a brush and then it looks like this. I think it's a little peachy, like for my liking. It feels really good and smooth. Like it's kind of light going on the hand. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it until I put it on my face, but I really, I really want to like it just because like this compact is so cute and I feel like it would be a decent size to like do my eye makeup in, but again, won't know until I get a chance to put this on my face. Next I have the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This is I'm the most excited to try because I'm starting to get more into skincare to take better care of my skin. So one of the first things is you should be double cleansing when you remove your makeup. This was the most recommended oil remover, oil cleanser that I found for oily skin. So I was a little nervous, but as you know, if you have oily skin, you should be moisturizing your skin and stuff so your skin does not get dehydrated and try to produce excess oil. By the way, I'm not going to try all these new things at once because skincare takes... <laughs> Skincare takes like two months for your skin to adjust to it. So if there's something that's making you... <coughs> skincare takes two months to adjust. So if there's anything that's making you react negatively or in a positive way, you won't know until two months. And if you try everything at once, you won't actually know what is causing you to have problems. So you want to introduce things slowly. By the end of the year, I hope to be doing a 10-step skincare regimen. In the past, I wasn't, like, I know small differences, I guess, when I use the new facial product, but I thought I could always just, like, put makeup on and cover it up, but as I get older, if you take care of your skin, you won't have to put that much makeup on, and your skin can breathe, so therefore, you know, your skin will look better. The next three things are samples. This is just the green tea milk mask. This I probably will use because I don't think one time they will ruin my skin like that. Then they sent this expert hydrating. I have no idea what happened to my audio, so here is a short voiceover. They sent me a hydrating ampoule, which is like the excretion of a snail, which I know sounds really gross, but it's supposed to be like really good for your skin. And now every time I read something like in skincare that has like ampoule, I'm probably saying that wrong, but anyway, it makes me think of the scene like in Crazy Rich Asians where he goes to Constant Zoo and he's like, oh, you need an ampoule mask. Your skin is so dry. It makes me sob. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Good night, guys. I love you. Bye.